Hi, I just wanted to walk you through how I blend and shade with the fabric paint. We are working on the little froggy witch pillow case. And in the supply list, I listed the green and the yellow fabric paint. We are going to blend those together to get different shades. Uh, it's not hard to do. It's actually very simple, and this way you don't have to buy a bunch of different paint colors in the fabric paint. Plus, it gives you a little more control over the highlights and the shading on your piece. Um, the dark part of the frog, the outline here, is the darkest green. And here in the middle, I've mixed some of the yellow in the highlighted spots, but I'd like this one a little bit lighter. So I wanted to show you how I do that. First of all, I am going to put some water into the fabric paint. This is some really thick fabric stencil paint, which is great, but it's a little bit too thick for these purposes. It's hard to spread. Um, I like the stencil paint in that it's thick and I don't have to use as much paint but it doesn't spread as well as I would like it to. I'm gonna mix in some water in the yellow, some in the green. I want quite a bit more yellow here than green to lighten up that center chest point. I'm going to dab on the lighter colors where I like them. And it's still pretty wet. And then I am going to grab hold of the darker green and place it where I like it and then dab it into the light color to create the shading. It's not hard to do, obviously. Now I'm going to take a little of the strongest yellow and place it in the center where I'd like it. A little of the stronger green towards the outside working into the yellow. But as you see, as you build that up, you're creating some depth and some shade, some highlights into your piece. A little more yellow in the lightest spots. Working wet on wet into the paint. Just keep dabbing and mixing and dabbing and mixing. A little of the darker color, merging it into the light to make a medium color. And as you can see up there at the top, I kind of dabbed outside of my line. Simple fix. Don't worry about it. Just straighten it right back out with a little more dark green paint. A little of the dark green watered down paint up here in the eyes to mix with the lightest of the yellow. I'm going to go for a little more of the watered down yellow paint. Dab it in, dab it in. This is mostly trial and error. You uh, need to settle on a shade that you're comfortable with, but it isn't hard at all to do this. You just have to keep dabbing until you are content. Take a look at the pictures of this pillowcase when it's finished on the site and you will get a good feel for how light I went. You can emulate that or you can come up with your own. That's one nice thing about hand painting a pillow. You don't have to use the exact shades or colors I use. Make your own to match your own decor. Um, great way to switch up your home decor without having to spend a lot of money. So just keep working, keep dabbing, get the shading as you like, and that's all there is to it. Lighten it up a little bit in the highlighted spots on his little legs, a little bit on his feet here. Just keep going until you are liking the way that it looks. Anyways, have fun with this pillowcase. I hope that uh, you'll send me a picture when you're done. I'd love to see what your froggy witch looks like.
Have a good day.